I can't really tell you the, the moment when it started, you know. I think there was different stages and um, I was always interested in music. I realized music is a very powerful thing. If it combines the, 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 the musical part with the lyrical content, it, you can make a difference. And I realized that very early, especially roots reggae music, you know, the message of Dennis Brown, of Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Jacob Miller, Garnet Silk, the list is till you know, next week. Um, the message of those artists is so up to the time. It's so everlasting that, you know, I was really impressed. I didn't find that in no other music, so I was, I was interested in, re in roots reggae, you know. Wood for Nepers from Dennis Brown was the first record that, you know, I played on, until it, to the knee let go. Well, to my elder brother, you know, my brother had a wonderful um, roots record selection. Dennis Brown and, 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 and Bob Marley and Peter Tosh and Jacob Miller, you know, I think I was 10, 11 years old when I realized it's something that sweep over my soul, you know, anytime I used to steal the records from him and play to my friends and... Yeah, yeah, man, you know, and then the first time I went to Jamaica was when I was 17, and it totally changed my whole point of view. You know, I'm really thankful about it. My brother was the one who got me the first records. Wolves and Leopards, you know, Dennis Brown. It's the first record I heard, and Love and Hate, yeah. So, Love and Hate can never be friends. That song is still one of my favorite songs, you know. I mean, I discovered Bob Marley and his lyrics, you know, so I found a profound truth within the content of the lyrics very early already. But I love different kind of music too, you know. I'm open for all kind of music as long as it's from the heart and it got edges, you know. I like music with edges.